Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Adult Education Ingredient. My name is Rosalia Wong. Today, guess what I'm going to bring to you? Today, the topic is uh, just a short talk about the traditional framework of program planning. Until now, I'm sure that all of you know what does uh, adult and continuing education about. In, in other words, what is adult education education is about, and um, and what it is focusing on. Program planning is also part of adult education or adult and continuing education. Today, I'm going to give you uh, a short note about the traditional side of program planning. And the research and study was done by Hansen 1991. Uh, in uh, Hansen's book, he rules out that there are aims of adult and continuing education. The aims are, number one, is to meet the educational needs of the participant or clientele. And number two is to attract the right participants. And number three is to produce changes in life and career uh, of the participant in the area such as cognitive, psychomotor, and uh, attitud attitudinal and behavioral aspects of the participants in their body functioning. These are the views, uh, aims of the program planning rule out by Hansen. Okay, now according to Hansen, the traditional framework of and uh, literature continues to provide uh, uh, help to achieve such as uh, the result for program planning. If by chance we should follow the steps and the full steps of the traditional program in order to achieve the maximum and to accomplish the goals of program planning. So um, there are three steps of traditional program planning. The first one is to use the systematic planning model. The second one is the issue of the budget. And the third one is the issue of the program and the, what the participants or respondents, uh, how and how they respond to it. I'm going to explain each one of, the, of them briefly. So the first one, use the systematic planning model. What do you mean by using the systematic planning model? So an effective program is more likely to be achieved where there is uh, uh, been some systematic deliberate effort um, to develop a meaningful plan of action to be followed. And the planning effort should be focused on the uh, determination of the education needs of the participant or clientele and the uh, translation of the educational needs uh, into the objectives and also the design and implementation of the learning experiences to achieve such objectives. And finally, the assessment of the strengths and weakness of the program. These apply to the system systematic planning model of the program. And the second is the issue of the budget. So the planning of the co uh, program includes the consideration of the budget and um, the required to achieve education to the required to achieve the educational effectiveness. Here, the budget means the resources and the limit, limit of the resources. And um, also the need to find uh, enough registrants to pay for the development and delivery fees. Number three is the issue of program and how the practitioners or participants respond to it. Here, Hansen rule are six factors of, in the issue of program. The first one is the quality of the program. The second one is the reasonable cost. And the third one, whether the program provides uh, personal fulfillment for the participants. And the fourth is the, uh, to offer the diversity, whether it is offering diversity. And number five is the comprehensiveness of the program. And number six is the accessibility of the program. Also, traditional program planning to practitioners or participants also based on what the practitioners or participants get out of it and the relationship that may exist between the program characteristics and the individual characteristics that led to program participation. In another, in another word, why practitioners want to involve in the learning. And, and, and the other one is the what date the program will start and what caused and also the methods of instruction. Okay, that's all for me today. But also remember the program planning is the result of the trial and errors that are result from the past. And also they satisfy mistake learned and lesson, mistake make and lesson learned that apply to program planning as well. That's all for me today. Please do subscribe for, for my channel and uh, write my video. 
Thank you for tuning in and until next time and goodbye.